Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa, that was close, man. <laughs> we arrived to Manila early in the morning and I had a chance to witness the crazy morning traffic. The air is hot, the roads are congested, the sound of horn beeping brought back so many memories. It reminded us a lot of Bangkok. The streets, the traffic. It's nice, it's loud and noisy, but that's how the big city is supposed to be. We grabbed our first Starbucks in uh, Makati. Makati is the area where we're staying, where the hotel is. It's one of the downtown areas. Next, we're going to mall that Jax uh, looked up to get the SIM card, grab something to eat. We're getting hungry and do a little bit of shopping. Just, uh, you know, as the usual. We're gonna take it easy for the first, uh, you know, day uh, get acquainted with the area and tomorrow we'll do something more exciting and uh, probably venture out outside Makati. Metropolitan Manila has the largest population density in the world. It is comprised of 16 cities, one of which is Makati, where we chose to stay. Makati is considered to be the financial center of the Philippines. All major banks and corporations as well as Philippine Stock Exchange are located here. On the way to the Greenbelt Mall, we passed by Ayala Museum that we are planning to visit during our stay in Manila. Inside this concrete jungle full of high-rise buildings and paved street, there is still room for lush greenery. Little things like that give the city very lively look and cozy feel. In Makati, there are three different ways to cross the street. On the ground, underground and above the ground. We often chose to use the overhead street crossing. To us, overhead street crossings are the most unusual, especially the ones connected to the malls. The Greenbelt Mall feels like an oasis with a beautiful park and outside shopping area. It offers over 300 stores, a mix of high-end retail shops, restaurants, leisure and entertainment. But we just couldn't get enough of this beautifully landscaped park within this mall. For us, escaping from a continental climate with freezing cold of minus 20, this place felt like a piece of heaven. It's starting to get dark and we're heading back to the hotel. We had a very exciting and long day considering that we didn't sleep much today and we traveled for over 30 hours. But we had fun just exploring the city, the area of Makati where the hotel is located, shopped a little, saw the one of the biggest malls, the Greenbelt, ate at a Filipino cafe, tried Starbucks, uh, and just got to explore a bit of the what's around us. Feeling tired, but we need to rest for tomorrow because tomorrow we'll explore more of the touristy part of the city and we'll have a lot of fun as always. See you tomorrow. Ah! Oh, yes, the SIM cards. Let's talk about that. Without getting into many details, there are two major mobile service providers in the Philippines, Smart and Glow. Both of these companies have a lot of different plans, options and promos, which we found very confusing. SIM cards for both of these companies cost 40 pesos and then you can load them up with credit based on what you will be using your phone for. For example, data, text or calling. We suggest visiting their websites for more details and current promos. We will leave it down below in the description. Stay tuned for our next episode. Yeah.